Cena. Oh, what a Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. And once you're done, leave a comment down below and I just might end up responding. Barring Lucha Underground, you really don't see man-on-woman action in the WWE that isn't overly sexualized, and hey, now that Lucha Underground's pretty much definitely done for, you really, really aren't gonna see that shit anymore. While WWE's women divisions have been vastly different to each other over the years, the general consensus seemed to be the same. It's not exactly a bueno idea to mix the men and the women. Although, for probably obvious reasons, the Attitude Era loosened those reins on that <laughs> just just a little bit. Yeah, uh, come to think of it, expect mostly Attitude Era. I'm D. Wicket, and these are 10 of the most shocking man versus women moments in WWE history. Number 10, an angle slammed at China. Expect mostly Attitude... Uh, Sorry. Also, if we didn't stretch out this research as much as possible, this could have easily been a mostly China list, to be honest. Considering she's pretty much the only female in WWE history to have the trait of openly just beating up any and all men in her path, aside from Nia Jax for like three weeks. Yeah, she's pretty easy to shoe into any of these lists. Instead of a whole bunch of China, however, how about a variety hour that features her getting angle slammed by the Olympic hero? Because you know what? I think I could do for one of those. Number 9, Rousey puts H through a table. Here's an example that just feels very WWE. I don't know how to explain it, but there's almost a few different categories these moments are going to fall into, and one of them is the classic, hey guys, women really can do it all, PR-esque feeling moment, and round to putting the big bad game through the table prior to their WrestleMania intergender tag team encounter, definitely is going to edge its way onto that list. Now, she's Ronda pissing Rousey. Obviously, we can believe that she would be able to do this because, I mean, watch the clip. It doesn't even look like Triple H had to help her do the move, but you get the idea. Number 8, Becky Lynch versus John Cena. Here's another good WWE-esque moment. Again, I'm not exactly sure how to explain the phenomenon, but putting the man over the literal man of the company for the last 15 years or so and letting her you can't see me to the champ, it just screams WWE. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. I like this moment a good bit more than the Rousey one I just talked about. Maybe, maybe though, that's just because I, <laughs> I give a shit about Becky Lynch and seen as a far more interesting opponent than H. Uh, maybe that's just me. This happened on January 1st, 2019. Literally starting out the year by pitting the two most popular acts of each gender and very clearly showing us which one was going over. It's actually pretty well done. Number seven, Kane Tombstones. Linda, man versus woman moments in themselves are just naturally kind of shocking. A lot of people think men fighting women isn't fair, but in reality, there's all sorts of domestic violence going both ways in the world, and in general, people tend to prefer the sexes just fight each other. Again, unless you're Lucha Underground and you don't give an Angelico's flying fuck. Despite this, WWE still love trying to do everything they can to make a moment as shocking as possible when that's their goal. Enter the big red machine with a big blood red mask and the company owner's wife I, I wonder if they'll discuss politics over tea w wait the both of these two ended up being legitimate politicians and it all started here now isn't that poetic <laughs> number six DDP attacks Sarah Sarah Taker Sarah Taker sure while a man and a woman fighting will usually spark at least a little bit of controversy, think of all the possibilities when you open it up each time. Think about it. Seriously, think about it. Two entirely different and diverse rosters of pro wrestlers who could have any and all sorts of in-ring chemistry and do creative storylines and do literally anything you can think of. Men and women, anything. Pro wrestling, is it's just storytelling with a choreographed mask, and yet sometimes the choreography is shit. DDP versus The Undertaker is a good example of woman being introduced into a man storyline. It's just a zero success and almost no redeeming qualities. I mean, DDP's diamond cutter looked fine, but did he after this angle? <laughs>
Number five, China's borderline sexual assault. DDP and Sarah Taker's moment was bad, not because of them, but because of the creative surrounding it. China basically being sexually assaulted by two old dudes in the ring is a bit harder of a pill to swallow. I mean, I'm sure she was fine with it, and considering the match was against Pat Patterson and Joe Briscoe, I guess only one of them was getting anything from that, and, but I digress, and I'm not exactly big on uh, watching old dudes pat shine on the ass before grabbing at her tits. For context, though, of the Attitude Era, this took place on the same Raw where Vince and Rock called Kane a little retarded, and Mark Henry threw up after realizing he had a sexual encounter with a transsexual, so... I mean, at least it fits the theme. Number four, Trish beats up Vince. Trish is on top and she's giving it to Vince. That is a real call from Jim Ross, the greatest commentator we've ever had. For real though, this is a pretty great will feel good moment. Trish Stratus, similar to China, honestly could have filled out this entire list on her own too. From being beaten by chairs with Lita because of Vince to being forced to strip down by Mr. McMahon himself, while Trish has done a lot with the boys and clearly has a lot of frustrations to let loose, particularly ones about Vinnie Mac. Good thing she teamed up with The Rock to take on Vince and Kurt Angle. That's not how intergender matches work, but the Attitude Era doesn't give a shit, and holy hell did she beat the shit out of that old bastard. Number three, a one-armed Cena. So, <laughs> sometimes we'll get to these classic little WWE tropes, especially from the diva era, mind you, that shows off just how pathetic a woman must really be in a crisis. Obviously, that's not true, but Jesus, if you watch WWE in the latter 2000s, and especially the first half of the 2010s, if you were a kid, you probably think that girls just blew away in the goddamn wind. Umaga just utterly destroying Maria was a pretty solid example, but I think taking one of John Cena's arms, tying it behind his back, and still having him dominate Lita, one of the greatest women's wrestlers of an entire generation, in about 22 seconds, that's, that's pretty fucking rough, dude. I mean, hey, at least she got her comeuppance when Edge, Booker T, Finley, William Regal, and noticeably not Lita all murdered the dude after the match. Uh, cool. Lita, I can't, oh my God! Oh man, this is absolutely humiliating for John Cena. Number two, Bubba Ray Dudley. I mean, really, he in and of himself is kind of a shocking man versus woman moment, since at least one eighth of his character is just destroying every woman he sets his eyes on. He goes into a trance by murdering women. Dixie Carter got some in a slightly more satisfying TNA moment, but the craziest always lasts, especially when WWE really just wants some straight up insanity. For our car crash television entry, we've got Devon taking Mark Henry on in a match while Bubba goes to the back, finds Mae Young since, you know, the whole Mark Henry hand thing happened. He brings her out to the ring. They finish off Henry with the 3D. They take Mae Young up the ramp, set her down. Uh, Devon picks her up and I swear to God, Bubba Ray started his bully character in 2000 because he grabs her out of Devon's hands, spins around, and power bombs her straight off the stage, straight into a table. What the hell am I watching? And number one, Christopher Jericho and Christian versus Trish Stratus and Lita. Why am I snapping? I've gone over all sorts of shocking moments here. Horrifying ones, insane ones, end of romance ones, and even dominance over women ones. Who could forget? And with all sorts of other moments I didn't retread, such as, you know, Stephanie versus Brock, or Stephanie versus her own father uh, in an I Quit match, the question really has to be asked. Has there ever been a good man versus woman match, let alone moment? Well, yes, uh, obviously there's been good moments, but match, there's been Chris Jericho versus China on multiple occasions, but everyone already knows about that one, and aside from that, it's kind of hard to think of one without stretching over to Lucha Underground, but nah, my number one is this entry's titular match, Jericho and Christian against Stratus and Lita, and yes, it is making this list 100% for just being a good man versus woman match. I am so shocked 
<laughs> that this actually happened in a tag team match too. WWE's historically not very big on the tag team wrestling, so seeing this is by far the most shocking man versus woman m moment it ever. It has to be. It was solid action and an even better storyline involving Jericho and Bischoff. This one is actually worth the YouTube search, and I'm gonna go ahead and recommend it to you. Christian, And those are 10 shocking man versus woman moments. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below after liking the video, subscribing to the channel, notifications, and that the bell, notifications.